Hey scholars, welcome to another edition of PhD in Me TV. Pursuing a higher degree in me. I'm your student teacher, Empress Shona. So I am just leaving hot yoga and I wanted to share some thoughts. What came up for me in yoga today? Um, One of the things that came up for me in yoga today was relax and take my time. The idea of relaxing and just taking my time, being a focal point in today's hot yoga practice um, was good for me. Helped me to really just relax and take my time. <laughs> um, I take the Bikram hot yoga so every instructor has his or her own style and sometimes they will dictate a posture and then they'll count it down as to when you're supposed to begin and sometimes they'll do that with a clap so they'll go in three two one go back you know something like that and in when I first started maybe because i wanted to look like i knew what i was doing or maybe because i just wanted to follow the instructions i would go back when i was told to go back but um today and i've done this before today but today i said i'll go back when i'm ready to go back when my body is ready to go back now i have to be careful with that because i tend to do things my way when sometimes I need to lean in to another way or lean into simply following the instructions as is. So I have to have a balance. I have to have a balance between, um, as I said, doing it my way and leaning in. And that's where my work is knowing what that balance is my work is in knowing what that balance is working to align that balance and recognizing that sometimes there won't be a balance sometimes it has to be my way and sometimes it really needs to be you know the way of someone else or the organization or the group it really needs to be that way so that's where the balance comes in okay so that was one um focal point one revelation that i got out of my yoga practice and the other was quite interesting and entertaining due to a little creepy crawly <laughs> that was on the floor in the hot room this is what's so amazing about nature <laughs> seriously um and we are all nature but what should i say um insect and animal life but in this case it was some type of insect okay and so i am doing my yoga practice and i see something move and now my attention is fixed on this movement and I'm like oh my goodness what is that so now my eyeballs are really trying to focus on this insect meanwhile the yoga instructor is continuously giving instructions <laughs> so I'm just like okay what is that you know, I'm trying to now engage the pace of it. You know, like if I follow her instructions, how fast is this thing gonna move from one section to the other, okay? And then I don't wanna take my eye off of it because if I take my eye off of it, then it may get close to me, which I don't want. <laughs> and I, you know, I'm having a problem. So then I'm thinking, let me get her attention some kind of way and ask for a Kleenex. And then I will take care of the bug that way. But I really didn't want to take care of the bug that way. And I didn't want to get her involved in me taking care of the bug that way. 
So I'm like, oh man. <laughs> and then it hit me, because all of this is happening within milliseconds. And then it hit me, wow. I am being majorly distracted by this insect. So much so that I'm not, I'm, I'm missing some of her instructions. I'm not going to, uh, you know, I'm gonna miss out on my practice because of this insect now all of a sudden. That's when it dawned on me. It dawned on me that the insect was my gift. The insect was a gift to me. It was a gift to me to, to show me how distracted I was and, and, and show me why I was distracted. My fears of this bug getting on me, getting near me, me taking it home, and how exaggerated <laughs> some of my thoughts were based on this teeny little insect. So now I'm going back and forth, but it's true. I don't want to take it home. I don't want to get it, have it in my hair. I don't want it to be crawling on me. And Holy Spirit is telling me none of that is occurring. You're distracted by things that haven't even occurred. You're missing your practice. You're missing your right now by things that haven't even occurred. And I'm like, wow, that little spider, I think it was a spider, some type of spidery kind of thing. <laughs> um, and the other amazing thing about this particular insect is that the floor of the, of the yoga room almost looks like speckled asphalt. It's black with white dots and maybe tan dots, it just all kind of speckled in. And I am not kidding, the bug blended in exactly to that mat. Like you couldn't, I, I was almost amazed that I even seen the movement and which had me become fascinated with my eyes because I was like, I saw that. And I was hard to keep up with it when it moved because it blended in so amazingly with the floor. But my eyes were amazing too because I caught it. And so in between my eyes <laughs> and the bug and Holy Spirit within me speaking to me and showing me the blessings of the bug, the blessings of my eyes, the blessing of Holy Spirit within me, the blessing of uh, just everything working for me. I'm like, wow, <laughs> all this <laughs> from taking from taking a class, but it's more than just from taking class. It's from taking the time to bless myself by taking that class. By taking it easy on myself and going slow enough that I can hear that. Now mind you, this is all in 107 degree heat. <laughs> Actually, I think the heat is higher than that. I, I don't exactly remember how how hot it is in there but it's hot I mean it's hot and it's always hot but there were times today where it felt punishing <laughs> I mean, it really did so I hope today that you take time to take it easy focus relax go at your own pace and that you not get overwhelmed by distractions that at the very least when you are distracted you get back on pace quickly and recognize the blessing of the distraction is teaching you about um, yourself, yourself, and where your focus needs to be and where it can be, okay? So if you like this video, make sure to share it with your family and friends. Thank you so much for watching. My goal is to encourage you, to uplift you, to empower you with these videos, to provide a word that will enrich your daily experience. And I want you to know that you are loved because indeed you are, and that I am coming at you with the joy that gives me strength. Abundant love, beloveds.